Well, uh, Nathan Hill High School happened to have a radio station, and not many high schools have radio stations. So it was just really lucky because I'd always messed around with tape decks and stuff when I was a kid. I remember I had this machine. Rather than playing outside with my friends, I would spend most of the day in my room just making ridiculous noises and pretending I was a disc jockey and making theater of the mind stories. And originally, when I was drawn to radio, I, I'm I'm a pretty I'm pretty shy. When I was in school, I could not even read in front of people. I would do anything to get out of reading in front of people. I should also mention that I'm rather dyslexic, so reading was pretty tough. And I did when I was a kid, they didn't even have the term dyslexia. No, I, I was just like something's wrong. <laughs> I could read better looking in a mirror than I could read in a you know read a book. We were really lucky to have you know hung around some incredible people. I mean, I've interviewed presidents and scientists and the inventor of Microsoft and you name it. And uh, everyone's so diverse, but uh, I just I'm just so fascinated by people and how they end up doing what they're doing. Like, how did Bill Gates end up being Bill Gates, you know? I, I, as a little kid, I was really into the Beatles. And uh, that was another reason I got into radio. Is like, someday I'm going to meet the Beatles. And I actually got a chance to, you know, hang out with Paul McCartney on a, a number of occasions. And I did, I've done some commercials for him, for his tours and things like that. So, I mean, they're like the most photographed, videoed, filmed people in the history of mankind, you know? And then all of a sudden you're in a room with him all by yourself. and. It was a little freaky, but right away he, he, he puts himself down, he makes fun of you, and all of a sudden you just kind of forget you're talking to something like that. I am beginning to question why I talk to people like you. I mean, you're just an ordinary guy. Why am I talking to you? I mean, you know, I'm like this really <laughs> incredible person, and you're just like nothing, Mike. You know what I mean? I don't want to put you down, Mike. Uh, it's weird how sometimes you can visualize things in your life and then they, they come true. I know it sounds a little wacky, but uh, if you really put your mind to something, it can happen. Anything. In, in closing, <laughs> do what makes you happy. There are so many things to do in this world and just try to have a little fun in life because it's really fleeting. <laughs>